But to travel now, and in 2015, our next guest became the first to circumnavigate New Zealand by bike. It was an epic adventure that took about a year to organise and then eight months to complete and included a serious crash, some cool Kiwi characters and plenty of stunning scenery as well. I know that because I followed him on Instagram. Now he is here to inspire our own personal adventures. Welcome to the cafe, Duncan Wilson. Lovely to be here, thank you. It's really nice to have you here because I did follow you on it. I do follow you on Instagram. I saw your amazing photos from your trip. Um, so, so what gave you the idea of cycling the coastline of New Zealand? Yeah, I think um, I was always been interested in extreme travel and pushing things to the limit. I moved to New Zealand in 2008 and took the Trans Mongolian Railway to move here. Um, and then just flew from Shanghai to Auckland. But, uh, I used to cycle to work quite a bit, and in 2014, the young, he was very young at the time, I think he was 19, 20, Brando Jelovich walked the coastline. He did too, yeah. And I'd been in my job five, five and a half years, and I thought, I want to do something. I want to do something. I like his style. What can I do that's also self-powered and will give me a similar experience? And it turned out that cycling the coastline was uh, the first idea I had. That was the one, and it, yeah. was, and it was the keeper. Yeah. Because um, everyone needs to have adventures, don't they? I think so, yeah. I think uh, adventures, they lurk everywhere, especially in this country. This is an ad a very uh, adventure-filled land. Uh, you only have to sort of go to your window right now, wherever you're watching this, and just look out, and the furthest point you can see, if you could walk to that today, that would be an adventure. It would be an um, adventure. Probably just go and put the kettle on and have a different biscuit for a change. Probably uh, Also an adventure. Yeah. Uh, so what was the hardest part for you? Hardest part was not the crash. You mentioned the crash a bit earlier yeah. on. Um, a lot of people, well, I was on the Queen Charlotte track and a little bit of icy mud. It's quite embarrassing, actually. It was a little bit of icy mud. Most cyclists will be like, that took you off. A little bit of icy mud, a uh, very sort of, uh, shady area that hadn't seen much sunlight that day, so there was a bit of ice around. We were in the middle of winter at that point. Uh, front wheel went from underneath me. Next thing I knew, I was sliding 10 metres headfirst down a bank. Ooh. 45 kgs of bike and gear bounced off my back and hit the tree that, the, uh, that I was aiming for and luckily uh, beat me to the tree and stopped me hitting it. Um, adrenaline took over, I popped far too many painkillers uh, above the daily dose of painkillers. Took an hour to get myself back up onto the track. 27 kilometres of riding to Picton, um, onto the ferry, quick dinner at my cousin's house uh, and then took myself off to Wellington uh, ED department where they told me off for uh, exceeding the daily dose of ibuprofen and <laughs> taking um, so long to get to hospital and for cycling to hospital as well yeah yeah so that obviously wasn't one of the best parts uh, what's your favorite memory of the trip favorite memory was I mean every single day conjures up a different memory uh, the the extreme freedom that you experience on a trip like that is something that will stay with me forever and I crave every single day and I try and get a little dose of every weekend if I can. Um, yeah, the just the, the vast freedom uh, and the people. Uh, I got tremendous support from my teammates. I had a, a team, Bike Barn, supporting me all the way despite at first going, mm, you can't really take bikes on sand. And I said, well, can I give it a go please? And they gave me a bike. Um, and also some good friends teamed up and did some, uh, some stuff back here for me and checked that my route was all going to plan and everything. But then I just would meet strangers, uh, incredible strangers who just would offer me a bed or or um, a ride somewhere. I often had to turn down the rides because I was supposed to be cycling, yeah. and I did cycle. Oh, there you go, boom, 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 boom. There you down a bank. Oh, the crash is there. Crikey, is that the cra is that the crash? That's the crash. I haven't really rolled in the camera. Absolute phenomenal footage that you've got there. And um, what did you learn about yourself? Uh, just that I have a, uh, a a very completer personality. I, I have this strange um, desire to just see anything I set my mind to right through to the end regardless. Um, so even after the crash I just went, yeah it hurts a little bit, it's going to hurt for two weeks, but I'm getting back on that bike and I'm going to go right up the North Island, around yeah. Northland and finish this thing in Auckland. Great resilience. Well I can't wait to see more about this because what an epic journey it was. Hey Duncan, thank you so much for stopping by today. Really inspiring us. Looking forward Pleasure. to the book, which is going to be out sometime soon-ish, next year maybe.